Uh, all right, last for today is Mr. Brock. Hello, my name is Brock Whitaker, and I'd like to be an environmental engineer. Um, this is kind of the journey I will be taking throughout my collegiate um, life and then into my career. I will graduate from Cumber Basin High School as an honor student and then enroll in college at, um, I didn't change my college. Uh, I have decided not to go to Austin Peay and go to MTSU to get a environmental science degree, graduate with a bachelor's in environmental science and engineering, and become an environmental engineer. And then they have, um, when I went up there, they have different um, environmental engineering programs and environmental science programs that you can do just about anything you want to in their, within their program. You can be from a surveyor to a little bit below a civil engineer. And a graduate degree allows an engineer to work as an instructor at some colleges and universities to do research and development throughout their campus. Uh, licenses, you need the ABET accredited engineering program. Uh, you, need, you have to pass the fundamentals of science engineering exam. Uh, you have to have relevant work experience and pass the professional engineering exam. Uh, work location, you can work just about anywhere in the country or worldwide, wherever you want to do. You're typically going to work about 40 hours a week. Okay. Um, many firms offer uh, internships if you decide to do that or you can go straight into it. Um, the median salary of an environmental engineer is about $92,120. The best paid top 0.5% is about $120,000, give or take. The lowest paid is about $70,000. Uh, these are different companies that I could work through for throughout, uh, throughout <coughs> the, the United States or in different countries like Canada, SNC or ACOM, HDR, Jacobs in Texas, or in Virginia at Mexico. Um, the benefits, you get life insurance and health insurance, uh, paid vacations, sick leave, and pension plans. Uh, the career portfolio helped me in a great deal. It's an excellent way to present your work and display your skills that qualify you for a position contributes to your personal image, you look prepared and organized. And then I have a resume in there that will help me throughout when I try to apply for my job. Uh, this is my budget chart I've made. I, have, I currently work a part-time job. I make about $170 a month. I, my fixed income is about $55. My um, controllable is $540. My balance, as you can see, is in the negative at $420. Yeah. So you're going to MTSU, right? Yes. Great. You've already been accepted there? Yes, I have. That's awesome. So when you get there, you need to immediately embed yourself into the College of Engineering. Mm -hmm. Begin to be a TA, or not a TA, but you'll be able to be a student helper to professors. Mm -hmm. That gets you into a lot of scholarships and a lot of programs that other people don't have access to. Okay. So find out who you like and start helping them. Start clerking for them. And then the other thing is, have you thought about internships? I have and haven't at the same time. I've done a lot of digging into it. I had originally wanted to do ag business, so mm -hmm. I decided that ag business just wasn't what I wanted to do, so I changed my career and haven't done a whole deep spill into it yet. Yeah. So internships are, that gives you the, a leg up on everybody else, because you've already got training and you've already been able to be in the real world. It'll slow you down a whole year, but it's well worth uh, the opportunity to do that. Right. Also, if you want to do bag, ag business later, you just get a minor in business. You said you were planning on going to Austin P, right? What made you want to switch? Uh, their engineering program. At Austin P, they did not offer environmental engineering or civil, or you could be a civil engineer, but you would have to go through many hoops to get people on one. So I decided it would be easier to go for a, to a school that was mostly known for their engineering program. So you said you originally wanted to go to the ag business, right? Mm -hmm. Why did you switch? 
Why did I switch? Um, my, my dad is, is a civil engineer, was a civil engineer. So I've always been around it my whole life, and it's something that I've known and I like. I've always, as a little kid, he used to have the terrain maps on his computer, and I always used to think they were so cool because I thought they were like little worlds, and you could just do whatever you wanted to. It's kind of like it's always been a part of something I've done. What is your backup plan? My backup plan would now that I could minor in business and be cut still do that, or I could go help with my, my family business with raising cattle, or I always want kind of wanted to be a history.